Hey guys, and welcome to The Wolf Among Us. So this is a bit of a detour from what I was planning on wanting to do. So because of the whole Crash Team Racing CTR unbeatable sewer thing, I am taking a little detour, giving it a break, trying to see if I can beat or get better off screen, and then I'll come back to it hopefully later on. So in the meantime, this is another playthrough that I wanted to do, just a little bit out of sync. So this is The Wolf Among Us. And it is based on a really good comic series, DC comic series called Fables. So if you haven't read Fables, I strongly recommend you read it. This game isn't necessarily spoilers for the comics, but it does have Easter eggs, it does have links that you probably will miss if you haven't read it. It's probably the only DC comic series I've actually read. I've, I mean, I've seen Superman and Batman movies, but I've never really actually gone out and read the comics, much like I would with Marvel. Eh, Marvel. Marvel. So I've read... Spider-Man Marvel comics. I've I've read all like little what-offs and daft little what-if things, but I've never actually read a DC comic series other than this one. So that's how good it is. I recommend it. Anyway, I am going to hit play. So this is episode one. So I have played this game before, so it's I kind of know what happens. But anyway, we're starting. Episode one. I've never played it on this PC, so I have no save files. So the series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play. So this is by the... Oh God, who was it made by again? Telltale! Made by Telltale, who did The Walking Dead. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale creatures known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. So that's the, the premise of the comics. So they are a bunch of fairy tale characters, much like Once Upon a Time TV series, but it's kind of more gritty and dark. It is literally the opposite of how it is in the UK right now. I am looking at a winter wonderland. Everything is frosted and white. It's freezing. I think it's like minus four right now. It's bitter cold. So that is Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Um, so the big bad wolf, that's him. And there's Snow White in this. There is the uh, oh god, what the hell is this, the fairy tale called? The frog from the fairy tale. We'll get there. You'll see them. The wolf among us. I think this game's kind of aimed at people who haven't really played or haven't really read the comics before. So it's kind of like an opening for them, so then they can go and read the comics and kind of catch the story a little bit quicker. There he is. They've done well at capturing him, actually, as he is in the comics. He's not quite how I would have imagined, but you can see it. South Bronx. Burrito Street. Burrito Street. Mr. Toad. There he is. Big B. Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out of the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is. <laughs> just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. So Big B's a bit of a badass, so I'm gonna try and stick as close to Big B in the comics as I can. I'm looking at a three foot toad in a sweater. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> Afford to look human, you're going to the farm. Silence is a valid option. <laughs> you can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Glamorous. Um Oh, not my problem. It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible. He is a nice guy. He's just he's a bit rough around the edges. Sorry. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour. He's the big bad wolf. He's gotta be tough. Fuck you now. Fuck you now. This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there 
I'm just gonna smoke as well. Um, so what have I walked into? Oh, what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Love those pants. Love a good this pair of sweatpants. He has to go. Um, why is he so pissed? So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. Oh, he's probably an only drinking. Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you. I didn't know anyone else was up there. <laughs> Fucking prick. Tell me it's been mine. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Because he's right upstairs, you know? Fuck back inside. <laughs> so that guy is Toad from Toad Hall. Uh, who is it? It's a fairy tale I can't quite remember the name of right now. But Big B is the big bad wolf from multiple fairy tales. And glamour is the thing that people use, like frogs, toads, animals, like fables from those kinds of fairy tales that don't look human. They use glamour spells to make them look human. And the farm is where they get shipped off to if they can't afford glamour or they can't be changed because otherwise humans are going to be like, why is this pig talking to me? Or why is this frog renting out flats in an apartment block? Oh, I know exactly who you are. Oh yes, right, that's what I have to do. Just remembering the mechanics. I'm just going to let them beat themselves up while I look at some matches. That's the big bee thing to do. There's clues kept on the left hand side, but if I remember rightly, they don't actually do jack all. Um, I'm going to knock. I'm going to be polite. Hello? Big bad wolf. I'm going to blow your house down. Oh, not cool. Not cool, dude. You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? Nice. I'll fucking kill you. You fucker. All right. Oh. Get him, Bigby. What are you going to fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Euthanasia. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went. Like yeah. That. This isn't last time. Oh shit! Quick times. I forgot. I can't bloody work this shit. You gotta calm down. Yeah, I gotta go for the chair. Nice and soft. Had enough? Oof. Oh, I'm gonna make a challenge, boy. Uh, I'm gonna poke your eyes out. Ugh. I should have done this on the PlayStation, but I had the save files, and I thought the PC would be prettier. Oh, punch, 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 simulator, punch simulator. Where are you gonna go now? Right, you're gonna go here. Uh, hit him in the head. Uh, get the bottle. Smack him in the head. Oh, he smacked me in the head. Uh, whoops. Get him. Get him, booby. Get him, booby. Get him, booby. Read a book. Uh oh. Ugh. Kick him in the knee. Kick him in the head. God, the Axeman is getting just bloody done in. Oh, speaking of Axeman. Oh! Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Shit. Oh, at least I don't get it wrong if I press the wrong button by mistake. There's no Madden Meden replays. Meden, whatever. Oh. <sighs> You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, you can't 
be nice, I'm gonna make you wear <laughs> Oh, the, oh, the noise. Boo-boo. <laughs> um Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. We saw the best. Yay. Best. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Go, just cut his tongue out. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Uh, why was he hitting you? Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I ask you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. Yep. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck. Oh, is. good you times, good stuff. Bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love badass Big B. He's such a dog. Because that's what he is. Oops, I think I killed him. Shit, Shit he's dead. What's <laughs> up? <My God. laughs> yeah. Oh, poor dog. Oh, no, by all means. Pixel's missing. Your time. Make yourself comfortable. So, uh. How good is your insurance? <laughs> I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. <laughs> but even when you help, things end up more fucking than they <laughs> That's a running theme in the comics as well. You're not fucking dead. Uh oh. No! Please let me live. I want to watch Mongoose. Uh, poke him in the eye. No, strangle him. Okay. Common misconception. Uh, tap an A, tap an A, tap an A, tap an A. Oh! Come on! Ah! Come on! Jesus Christ! Transform! Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is! Oh, Jesus. Ow, cramp. Uh, she, she, she tripped. <laughs> she tripped with an axe in her hand. Oh. Oh, God. They're quite hard to kill fables, if you haven't realised. It's quite hard to kill a fairy tale character. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? Gosh, it's cut and bruises. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? I kind of break my own rules. I can avoid it. Great. Skinned bastard. Oh! The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not. <laughs> it's more for me. He'll be. Oh, oh he's still trying. Fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. Yeah, he's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. <laughs> yeah, let me help you with that. <laughs> Might knock some sense into him. Uh, no smoking. Uh, light her cigarette. Be a gentleman. Even though it's a filthy, disgusting habit that no one should ever do. 
Don't get why people smoke in this day and age. Really don't. Do not understand. Who do you work for, really? G's lips are sealed. Sorry. Mm, that comes into it a lot. Oh! Hey, you like my ribbon? See, this is the, the joy of playing it on the PC. I never noticed there was lipstick marks on the ribbon before. Stop changing the subject. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. Things change. Are they all escaping from their world yeah. in the towers? Because that's what's happened. There was a great calamity in their world, like the fairy tale world. There's like a darkness, a monster. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it for people who are going to read the comics. But there was a big monster Stop. that's kind of we taken don't have over. To make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Uh, he hit you. He hit you. He needs the. So it was a big bad that chased He's him out of their world and forced him in hours. I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I should be arresting you. She I'm tripped. It never happened. Longer. So, now's your chance. Ooh. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty. I'll be fine. I'll oh, give us some money. He doesn't have any money, Let's but see, I've got, uh, he's always scared to poor Bigby. 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Aww. Just take the money, okay? I chose to give her the money because I am a good boy. Good dog. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Ah. Good <laughs> you should get cleaned up. You look like shit. <laughs> you should see me before I get cleaned up. <laughs> What you really think? Hey, I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you Aww. are. Aww. I'll see you around. Bye. <laughs> Completely empty. Oh, poor Todd's car, man. He's got a wolf sized dent in his bonnet. I absolutely love this game. And the best thing about it is the person who wrote Fables endorses this game as well. So you always know it's good when the person who wrote the original material endorses things. It doesn't happen many times these these days. Any adaptions or any live action movie replays of any cartoons or anything like that. It always turns out rubbish. Absolutely nothing like the original source material. Whereas this one they've took a lot of time into it. Which is really sad because now Telltale's gone. I do have one gripe with Telltale though. This game was really good, really enjoyed it, and the people who love the Fables comics love this game. But it kept coming out with bloody Minecraft, more Walking Dead, bloody Game of Thrones. It kept adding more and more and more and more titles. And just not finishing the actual games that they already had. Such a shame, such a waste. I hope someone does pick it up in the end. We do get another another game out of this. I want a TV show. 
Fables into a TV show would be amazing. I know it's going to be probably too much like Once Upon a Time. I've never watched Once Upon a Time, but the premise is the same, and I don't know whether people will go for it. Let's have a read. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. The only one that's not luxury is yours. Bill Willingham. Absolute legend. Just better look around to keep off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinary. Snow's a badass, I love snow. Not John Snow. The original Snow. Snow White. <laughs> the dad look. I'll mark my territory, and you don't want to see that. An hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <sighs> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Is that Beauty from Beauty and the Beast? Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little yeah. odd. Yeah. Why'd you hide when I walked up? You dealing drugs? Well, I didn't know who it was. Hmm, in the woodlands. Hmm. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Oh, I'm not getting involved, love. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot hmm. easier. Fine. Just I promise, fine. Sure. I'll just not say anything to him. I promise. Thank you, Bigby. Bigby's a sucker for a pretty face. He always has been. Later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate Bigby. Bigby's a little different in the game from how she is in the comics as well. Again, I, I can't. I don't want to say it too much, I don't want to spoil it. Read the comics. You know what I mean if you read the comics. <laughs> Sleep as usual. Flycatcher. I don't know if he's in this game. I can't remember. I love Flycatcher. <laughs> Come on, Grimble. You actually going to be awake at one point? Hey, you wink. <laughs> I love the little touches. The, the, the little final touches that show that the people who made this game actually care and did their research. Nope. No, oh, poor Bigby. He's a lone wolf. Uh, these are all the people who live here. Bum, 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 bum. Call the elevator. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Oh, oh! Uh, hey, Beast! Big B. Hey, wait up. Uh, uh, Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Uh, staying out of it. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. <laughs> I'm not a marriage counselor. <laughs> Damn it. Something's going on. I kept my promise. I didn't tell him. I avoided his question. There we go. I ain't no liar. Room 204.
There's his bippy, shitty apartment. Because he has no money. Stinks in here. Oh, I was gonna say, why you turn the tap on? You're just watching the water run. eventful wasn't it refrigerator let's get a cold one Why do I even cigarettes in a fridge he uses he smokes huff and puffs which are cigarettes <laughs> huff and puff but they are to dampen his sense of smell because he's a wolf and he can smell everything so he smokes a lot not because he wants to but because Damn it. so he just didn't smell a lot of stuff Bluebeard. No, you didn't. With good reason. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. <laughs> uh, anything else I can check out around here? Oh, for God's sake! He's back again. Not again. <laughs> I'm going to poke Colin. Oh, hey, big. What's up, Colin? I'm in your chair, huh? There's only the one. Only got the one. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so Colin's one of the three little pigs. Bigby blew his house down. And they've got some kind of like weird non broty pig thing going on. <laughs> Sexy. He's lying like one of his French pigs. Got a smoke? There we go. Thanks. God, I love the smell of Hotel pork in the these, evening. Even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has got to stop. I can't keep sneaking off the farm. Like and that's why he's on the farm because he looks like a talking pig. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been he's there. He's not allowed. Don't be a pain in the <laughs> ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? You're putting all of Fable Town at risk. He is lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved. Oh him. yeah, he did. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me. Yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Uh, I just want some rest. That was all you were saying. I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. What? I only want some rest. Uh, I was just hungry. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. <laughs> But, uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought the we were big bad wolf, not the big good here. wolf. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. <laughs> God, just, just look at your face. I mean, ugh. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? Yep. I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It's my job. I was doing my job. Mondays are me and you. We're the mundane. Your job is the to humans. beat the shit out of fables. Yes. Sometimes I take them to the farm. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think my 
my job is easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being Be bad. Big and being bad. By being big and being <laughs> bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across. No! To. Not everyone. Name one. I don't know a name. Uh, there was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. <laughs> Great example. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen it <gasps> in the snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, shut up. Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep Oh, talking. just give me a whiskey. Shut him up. Wait, that doesn't make just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Oh, look at that sad piggy face. Give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Uh, give him a drink. Give him a drink! I'm not gonna choose not to give him a drink. That's a dick move. Thanks, Big B. Uh, you better wash that afterwards. Didn't want to end up with foot and mouth syndrome. Right guys, I am calling this episode a day, so thank you very much for joining me in the first episode of The Wolf Among Us, episode one. So I know, again, it's a bit of a diversion from what I'd planned on doing, but this is still a game I want to play and it's a bloody good one at that. Anyway, if you have enjoyed then please leave a like, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think, what you think of Fables, the comics, what you think of the game, anything you want. Stick it in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for some more content if you have enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.